Howard here. Let's talk superpowers. With Marvel and DC making these huge blockbuster films, everybody knows superheroes these days. It's not just for that comic book nerd anymore. So I thought it'd be fun, maybe we'd pop around and ask friends and family, what ability would they choose if they were to become a superhero? The exact phrasing of the question is gonna go, if you could have one superpower in real life to be used for good, bad, or just for fun, what ability would you choose? And why would you choose it? Let's go see what they say. Um, mind reading, like to know people's thoughts. Mostly for fun, <laughs> but I imagine I would be able to uh, find someone with sinister thoughts along the way, you know, maybe get somebody to watch them or prevent them from whatever crime that they just happen to be thinking about when I intruded on their thoughts, I guess. Um, invisibility so that creature in the background doesn't destroy me. That and also, uh, what else? You can sneak into women's bathrooms, you know, the usual stuff. Still, all right, there's creatures lurking. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I've always said, you know, everybody says between flying and being invisible, those are like usually the, the two everybody goes with. And I think I would agree, I think one of those two. Although I love to fly, that seems like an amazing thing. I am a creepy guy who would really like to be invisible so I could see what people do when they don't think they're being watched. You know, that would be one of the main things, but there's other things you could think of. You could get on a plane, fly all around the country, nobody knew know you were there. You could, you know, you could do a million things that's undetected. Rob banks, so you could use it for the bad, which that's what everybody always does. They never use their superpower for good, even though they'd like to think they would. They don't. So yeah, definitely be invisible, and mainly so I can spy on people, because I'm creepy. I would choose the ability to shapeshift into different people and morph into any type of animal I want, because I'd be the perfect spy. And also, if I needed to get in tight space or something, or get up high, I could without even having to think about it. I'll go with the, uh, actually, I'll go with the visibility. And everything I touch goes invisible. <clears throat> um, like just say I had a robbery. You know, I'll just activate my powers, activate my powers for all my family. So they're all invisible, they could run out. And then I could just sneak up on the dudes, have an invisible knife or something. Pow, pow, over with. <clears throat> um, yeah, I'll, I'll go with that. Power and visibility. Woo! I would pick the superpower to take other people's superpowers. Next question. Get good, you get evil. Steal that dude's power. Take this guy's power. You know, mix and match. Do what you gotta do, that sort of thing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, since there's no other people with superpowers in real life, though, would that be a... You didn't say that. You should have said that from the get-go. Wow, that changes everything now. I guess I would move metal with my mind to make sculptures to sell at the market. I'd probably go with uh, mind reading. And uh, I'd probably use it for good, mostly, in order to prevent crimes, possibly and also to get in the minds of, you know, geniuses and to maybe, you know, steal their ideas and make some loads of money and help some less fortunate folks and myself, of course. Um, I'd be pretty selfish. I think I'd try and have the power to take, not maybe, not permanently take, but to have other people's powers if I come near them and then I can have like every superpower and who wouldn't want that? Similar to that would be Rogue from X-Men, right? But I wouldn't want to like hurt people <laughs> with it or like kill someone. <laughs> I would choose invisibility due to the fact of if someone ever needed help, you know, 
I could just pop up, help them out, and be gone. You know, for instance, fire, EMS, police, anything like that. I would just, you know, they need help, pop up, and go. <laughs> There you have it, some interesting uh, responses from some interesting folks. Uh, if you're wondering about me, uh, what ability would I choose? I've obviously had more time to think about it than these other guys we put right on the spot. Uh, I think immortality is always a, uh, a, tempting, a tempting one to take, but uh, in real life practice, I can see how that'd be horrible at the same time. I think I would have to go with uh, being able to uh, manipulate nature, you know, weather, animals, that sort of stuff. That'd be badass. Let us know in the comments what kind of power would you take. And if you want to see more videos like this, let us know. If this one does well, we'll, we'll continue this into a series. Later, guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you'll consider subscribing and checking out some more videos from us. If you like what you saw, feel free to give me a thumbs up.